Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 727 of Fallout 4. The last episode, shenanigans. Um, I went to the railroad to turn in the Butcher's Bill quest, turn that into a problem. The driver boy came up to me, he's like, Yo dog, Pam wants to talk to you, she wants a piece of that. And I talked to Pam, and well, she's like, I can't talk to you, I am a robot. And and, and it was kind of weird, really. Like, he told me to go talk to her. Talk to her. It didn't work. Uh, which I'm pretty sure I have to talk to her to do this whole quest thingy that I want to do. So I'm confused as to why that's not currently working. So I think what I'm about to partake in is go talk to Desdemona. And I'm going to continue the main quest with them. Just to see if I can progress to a point where perhaps, uh, I don't know, things work out the way I'm, I'm hoping that they work out. Why? I was gonna say, why do I have so much weight on me? It was definitely the missiles. No, 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 Do not put those, ooh. Mine. Uh, yeah, don't, don't put those away. But, uh, that's, that's, that's the plan, I guess. Are there any fusion cores in here that are worth wasting? I mean, I could technically burn through all of those. Nah, nope. Let's just, let's just take from my stockpile of fusion cores. But, uh, I guess that'd be the plan. Go back, talk to Desdemona, continue the quest, and just see how that goes from that point. Not quite sure why, uh... It's doing what it's doing. I'm a little confused for now, so... Eh. Trying to get my weight down. Wondering why my weight is so high. Now, I have this pistol on me, and I did pick up the Deliverer. So, 162... Let's, let's see here. Use a 10 millimeter. 162 damage. Now, again, 269. Uh, like, I don't even see a merit. Improved VAT's hit chance. Less AP cost. I mean, that's good for very much specifically farming uh, my crits. I could switch over that. I've been using the, the kneecapper for quite a bit and having fun with that. I think for now, just to give the deliverer some time, because I know it's supposed to be like a staple gun. Uh, not like a staple gun, it's like a shoot staples, but like I know it's supposed to be like a staple in like your run. I'm going to mess with the deliverer. Uh, so let's go back to the weapon interface. Let's go back here, press Q, and I will put you on the three slot. Awesome. So there we go. Now I can go use the, the deliverer. It, it, it does use 10 millimeters, so I'll probably want to make a withdrawal there. But yeah, that's that's the plan. I'm a little confused as to why the game's not doing what I would imagine it's supposed to be doing. But uh, that's that's where we are. So I hope you guys are enjoying the Fallout videos. Uh, I do appreciate those you've been liking the videos, and I thank you guys, of course, for that support. Uh, you can't keep up, X6. We've proven this. So let's sleep until the day. Um, I think again, what I'll do is go over there. I'll try that. I'll continue the quest. I might try to get like any other side quests I can from there. I'm also debating going by the Corvega plant. Let's, let's stop at 550. I woke up with an infection after sleeping with Curie. You know, two people in a, in, a, in, a, in a romance, and neither of them have a disease. And then one day, you sleep with the lady, or you sleep with the man. Did I just use a dick doll? I used a dick doll. Who cares? And then, and the, then you wake up and you have a disease. And that means that that bitch has been a dirty sleut, and they've been sleeping around. So, Curie, the guys are all just standing here, creepy like, is a dirty salute, and someone else is boning her. Alright, I want a divorce. You're a filthy whore. We're done here. This relationship, this relationship's terminated. I don't, I don't need no one but my dog. That's right. I meant to segue it into my dog. Ah, 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 that's, ah, that's a multi, that's a multi-pronged joke right there. Yeah, but yeah, okay. Um, my dog won't leave me, you filthy sleut. Yeah, take that, Curie. But anyway, let's, uh... We ain't going anywhere, Kate. You denied me forever ago. We're, 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 we're gonna go do this. Which would mean it'd be faster to just zip on over to the Institute and zip on out. But yeah, let's give the Deliverer a run. I've... I used it for, like, two seconds. When I got it, I pew pewed a few times, and then I'm like, eh. And then I stopped. So let's use it, and very specifically trying to use it to farm up crits. So what I need to get in the habit of, and something I've not done enough, is get in the habit of using vats more and being more free, more liberal here with my crits. Just just, just crit enemies in the head and then farm up the the, the, uh, the crit points again. It, it, not only does it save ammo, obviously it saves you time and you don't get hit anywhere near as much. Am I full crits right now? I am not full crits, so I guess we have the opportunity to use it. It's so weird, it's a little Makarov, a little... Well, 9x18 doesn't use 9mm. Well, of course, the game makes it use 10mm, but we all know that 9mm does not equal 10mm. 1 plus 1 does not equal fish. But, uh, let's see, this is SpongeBob. 
But, uh, yes, yeah, so this is a 9x18 gun, so it's a teeny little Makarov is basically what the deliverer is. Yeah, you know that? See, I, I, I know about your commie cartridges. Damn, 9x18. Can't be 9x19, delicious Parabellum. Feels bad, man. I'm Like, the gun talk's going over some people's heads. Some people are getting it, and I'm sure they're loving it. But... <laughs> hey, look, a face. Mine. Mine. Uh, you know, it's, it's just every day. It's not every day you just stop by, and you're like, Oh, hey, look, someone's face. I think I'll take that. And it's like a normal thing. <laughs> it's just another day in the Commonwealth, so that's that's what happens. But I did also lower the uh, the weight of all of my armor last time, and I think that will prove pretty useful moving forward. I no longer have deep pocketed, but I also have less uh, weight on me. And because of the way power armor works, I still have 492. Yeah, I think that was a, a, a decent trade-off. Now... Doesn't really matter which road I cross over here, so let's just go over this one. Hey, uh, scripted ver- Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, not scripted vertibird. Dude, this this gun feels so small in my hands. It, it just- I can't get over how dinky the deliverer feels on screen. It's just like- like from a feel from looking at the little- like, little thing. I- It- I- I don't- I don't know- I don't know what to make of this. It just- it just feels rinky-dink. I know it'll do- I know it'll put the hurt on just as- as well as any other gun, but it just, it, it feels rinky-dink. It sounds so quiet. <laughs> Lads, guns don't sound that silent in real life. Only with subsonic ammo. Do they sound even remotely similar to this? Don't believe the movies. Well, hey, stop that. <laughs> I thought I got them all, but clearly there was another one. Uh, there's really nothing for me to trade. Excuse me, dog meat. There's really nothing with me to trade with anybody at the railroad, so I don't know what I'm going to be doing with all this crap I just picked up off of these people. Uh, I could make a run to Good Neighbor and then turn in the Silver Shroud costume, because that dude's at the Memory Den, right? I should have repaired my power armor. I think that dude's at the Memory Den. And we, get the, we finally get rid of the, sh the Silver Shroud crap that's been in my inventory for a while because I just didn't want to do that quest. That could be a good call. I'm pretty close to Good Neighbor anyway. But first off, let's let's go over here, see about picking up this quest tree, and hopefully not bricking the game. I did back up my saves before all this, but I don't think we're at a point where we're locking ourselves into a faction. I think the Minutemen are just like this weird neutral party that it, it it doesn't affect anything now until a little bit later in the game. So I think I think we're clear to just do this. I'm not gonna worry about it. Yeah, I definitely should have repaired my power armor though. I didn't think my power armor was that beat up. My left arms are hurting. As long as it ain't my legs, because my legs are what gives me increased carry capacity. I don't really mind so much if I lost the arm piece, but cannot lose the legs or, or the helmet for that matter. I'd lose my targeting. I would assume I'd also lose my light. Well, I've never actually had that happen. Hey, Glory. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey does the one. Oh, wait. Well. Hey, you ran to me. Wastelanders Shut up! Problem than even the Institute. Doc Carrington's been asking for you. Okay. Hey, how do you even fit down here in that? So, that means this guy probably is on a quest for me. But again, before oh, I talk good. to him. You're here. No, no, no. I don't care if it's been in development. I'll put one between your eyes. Okay. Let's just try to talk to the robot. I hate, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Pam. You take you take your security lockdown and ram it up your pooper. But I guess I'll talk to him before I talk to Dez. Hey, Carrington. Ah, good, you're here. There's been a development. A raider gang has captured one of our agents, codenamed Blackbird. The twist is, we thought he was already killed at Augusta safe house. Desdemona clings to the far-fetched hope that A, Blackbird is alive, and B, he can tell us what happened to the synths held at Augusta when it fell. So she wants you to tackle this fool's errand. Of course she wants me to tackle a fool's errand. It's always me. Is it really a fool's errand? If you chain too many assumptions together, you rarely get what you bargain for. I doubt we'll find more than a body. The dead drop has the full briefing. Raiders aren't known for keeping their captives alive. But, since you're risking your neck, good luck. Suddenly he's also a seamstress. Butcher's Bill too. God, I swear, if your dead drop's in the middle of bumfuck nowhere again, why you guys can't just give me the information and then send me to the quest? I'll never know with you guys. Really? By Zamonja? 
When's the last time I've been to some modes? Look how far north this dumbass wants me to go. Screw you! Screw you! Please, work with us instead of the Minutemen. The lives of why can't I work with everybody? Why can't, we, why can't we get along? Too much traffic to the church and we'll burn this hideout. I'll work with you then. You have no idea how relieved I am to hear that. What I'm about to tell you is the most closely guarded secret the railroad has. It's time you learn about Patriot. There's a man, or woman, we're not sure, inside the Institute Wait. who helps Synths escape Wait. freedom. Dozens of Synths owe him their lives. We don't know his name. We've never had a way to contact him. So we gave him the code name Patriot. So you need to infiltrate the Institute and make contact with Patriot. Wait, you say man or a woman? It's 2017. Couldn't he, be, couldn't he be an attack helicopter if he wanted to? Isn't that how it works in this? I mean, shit, isn't like 2,200 something? Maybe, maybe, they, maybe they put the kibosh on that. I'm, I can't wait for the future. All right. <laughs> how do I make contact? Tom devised a way to send a message to Patriot. We can plant a coded message on an institute terminal, and if all goes well, he'll respond. Just see Tom, and you can proceed from there. Okay then. Underground hey, undercover. It's Bullseye. Bullseye's back. Don't call me that name. I don't see you can call me that. What did you? Who, who told you my name is Bullseye? Huh? I know, I know that's my code name. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't. I wonder if like I have to. Pam. I feel like I just have to do a few quests and like. I don't know. Get get rid of the supposed lockdown. Blah blah blah. Oh man, you were actually there. Inside you said this the like 14 times, Tom. No time for that though. Let's set you up to contact Patriot. I got here one genuine Tinker Time special. Just load her up onto a holotape, plug her into any institute terminal, and execute. Encrypted message holotape bad. Upload encrypted message on any institute terminal. So I have to TP to the institute? Is what this is saying? You got actual dead people here in your shooting range. You guys are twisted. I'm all for I'm all for shooting paper like the next guy. But you, got, you, got, you got dead people in here and you just left them in there. That's that's not hygienic. Have you met with Patriot? Yes, in like the two seconds I was gone. What was the plan again? Tom encrypted a holotape using the same encryption scheme Patriot used in the past. If you put that holotape on any terminal down there, hopefully you'll get his attention. Or have you already met him? You'll never know. I'm working on it. If you get the opportunity to upload the holotape, do it. With Patriot's help, maybe we can score a major victory for Synths. Uh, I wonder if this is gonna piss the Institute off. Like, I wonder if they're gonna know. You got too many teeth to be a scabber. Shut up! I hope you take that- Shut up! Okay, so we need to go to the Institute, right? So the only quest I have- Hold on, actually, let's check this. Uh, let's turn that one off. Show on map. I, I, I guess it doesn't show anything, but I'll go to the Institute and just find a terminal? I, I guess? I don't know what Institute Terminal we're talking about. The only one I can think of is either, like, one of the personal ones here, or, of course, the, uh, that one that we, I think we right up right the elevator. That one you, like, first come into. So, where, where are you telling me to go here? It just, it just shows me my location. Sounds like those raiders at Libertalia were quite a handful. How'd you know? So who, who, who said you could know that top Most secret information? No, I'm gonna tear it all down. I don't, I don't like Father. He's, I mean, he's got, he's got an ego. Your son's telling you to call him Father? No. Nope, that's a kid that needs his ass beat. Hey, Father, I'm gonna use your terminal. Don't mind if I do. I don't know if this is gonna work. Let's, let's see. No, 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 no. I, I was, I was using his terminal. I, I was, <laughs> calm down. Can I load holo tape? Uh, so it was probably Patriot something? I actually didn't see- wait, no, it was executable, wasn't it? And do 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 Right? That's what it was, right? Just making sure I scrolled up. Encrypted message holotape, it was that one. Transmitting Tom key. Key not- key found, handshake successful, command, message from Tom. The big D demanded a tutorial be included, so here it is. Short version, plug this into any institute terminal and copy the message. Long version, Patriot's been sending us short-coded messages for years using an evil little encryption scheme. It was a bitch didn't have to reverse engineer Patriot's got skill, but I nailed it. Put this hollow tape on any institute terminal and it'll deliver a gift wrap message straight to Patriot. You're going to, you're going into the belly of the beast friend. Don't trust anything. Tinker Tom out. And then copy encrypted message. 
Read Patriots Reply. Copying. Copy complete. Just perform program. Copying urgent reply from terminal. Copy complete. Uh, read urgent reply 01. Acknowledge. Meet at the advanced systems maintenance room. Mm. Okay, then. I guess I'll take my holotape there back. Hey, Dad, I just, um... I looked at some really weird porn on your computer. And... I think you got a keylogger, a Trojan horse, uh... A couple other viruses, uh, rootkits, uh... Y you name it, it was a shady... It was a shady porn site. It's, I, got, I got weird kinks, man. Uh, red, red tube don't cover it. <laughs> red tube don't cover it, so it's advanced systems over here, right? And that's bio. <laughs> You gotta be careful what websites you go to, man. <laughs> hey, it's me. So you're the one who sent the encrypted message. How did you even do that? I wasn't sure anyone on the surface would have a chance to crack Trinity. You know, the encryption algorithm. Trinity? What's that? Trinity is an encryption system with a cipher or key cut up into many pieces. You need several pieces in the correct order to unlock it. I put a Trinity piece with every synth I helped escape. It was a long shot, but I was hoping some good Samaritan would connect it all together. So you're the dude who's been letting all the synths out. So you're why all the synths keep escaping. Who are you? I'm Liam Benet. My father runs synth development, and everyone knows who you are. A friend named Tinker Tom cracked your encryption. He must have had some serious hardware to pull that off. Wow, your message was only one word. Friend. What did you mean by that? I, uh, I hate you. Hmm. The railroad sent me to look for someone they call Patriot. That's you. What? The railroad? As in THE railroad. And they gave me a code name too? I kept sending synths to the surface hoping someone would help them. I hoped the railroad got to some of them, but I never knew for certain. How did you help Synths escape? Through hacking. The departments focus their best talents on hard science. Why waste time on terminal security, right? The SRB is the exception, and unfortunately, they control which Synths go to the surface. But a forged work order from, let's say, bioscience can get a hand-picked Synth on surface detail. And it turns out the railroad was waiting for them. Wow. Why are you helping Synths? At first, I just wanted to see if I could get away with it. <laughs> it was a challenge, you, you know? But then I realized the Synths are really just like us. Except without any freedom. I decided to help the ones that wanted to escape, so they can have a better life. You wouldn't be that impressed. <laughs> if you met them, trust me, you wouldn't be that impressed. They've eluded the SRB for decades. They've got to be incredible. With you in the picture, I have this idea, to rescue a lot of synths, at once. But we'll need help. Where's he working now? Right. Let's go to the West Atrium. Probably best to talk about something else right now. Uh, porn? Come, come, come on, Liam. You know my father thinks it's a living hell on the surface. But that can't be right. Heck, you look positively normal to me. Uh, no offense. Well, you see, I was in a vault, cryogenically frozen. I'm not sure frozen. if we could ever make the surface actually a decent place to live. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't at least try to help, you know? Mmm, that fresh water from the Institute, though. <laughs> Don't mind me, just, just follow this dude, ga grabbing a casual drink. Come on, Liam, come on. You're slow, dude. Liam. Good. He's here. C-114. What the it's fuck? Me. Camera sure. angles? Do you require something? It's okay, Z1. He's a friend. He's with the railroad. Meeting here is dangerous. And you bring a stranger. You. How do I know we can trust you? You can't. That was weird. To talk to him, let me talk to him. Hey, buddy. Can, can, I, can I talk to you? Hey! Can I, t can I finally talk to Okay, it says talk to Liam. The thing's on his face. But I have to talk to this man. Okay, well, we're gonna save to make sure I get some dialogue here. Hey, hold still. Because the members of the railroad have dedicated their lives to fight for your freedom. I find that hard to believe. Hey! That's what the railroad... 
I am gonna blow your no no you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna no 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 you let me out of this dialogue you're in trouble. It's no good. Kill him. Well, let me shoot. Die. No, I don't like you either. This was this was an elaborate ruse. I'm with the Brotherhood of Steel. No, I'm kidding. All right, let's. Victorium, brother! <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> That's funny. Because the members of the railroad, I find that hard to believe. You better not but find it hard to Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! Where do you get that little. Where do you, where do you, this guy's got a freaking shank. No, no, look at Z114. We're gonna make a spectacle of this man. Dunk. Oh, 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 oh my, oh my. Oh. Ad Victorium! Okay, let's try this once more. You, you gotta have some fun. Every now and then, when the dialogues just don't go your way, instead of saving and loading, saving and loading, because you want to get the unique dialogue, it's not herd eaters. I've had people go back, like, you herd eater saves coming through, through dialogue. You know, sometimes I just want to hear the unique shit, and I don't have to do an entire other playthrough just to get to this point again, just to hear this dialogue again. Like, shush. Because the members of the railroad, I find that hard to believe. Bruh? That's what the railroad does. Add one. motherfucking Victorium. Right now. How many cents one was Victorium. Add Victorium. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop blowing their damn heads off and then just load if we fail. I wanna get the persu persu persuasion because I, I wanna hear the unique dialogue. That's why I like to go for these things. Because the members of the railroad. I, I thought only Mr. Benet cared. But your friends actually fight for us? That's what the railroad does, Z1. He's from the surface. I've never met another human willing to help. But, sir, we must make this quick. Right now. How many since want to escape, Z1? The ones I know for certain? Thirteen. That'll take forever. Let's free those thirteen all in one go. I would do anything for my people. But how do we get them to the teleporter? It's no good. The old maintenance tunnels that lead there are always sealed. By the SRB. Hmm. If I can find a way to open those doors, could you get your sense to the teleporter room? Yes. We'll talk later. Someplace more secure. Ad Victorium? Z1. Do you require anything? Yeah, Ad Victorium. Do you require anything? Do you require anything? Yeah, it ain't gonna suck itself. <laughs> Just a few high security doors, right? Yeah. Controlled by cutting edge SRB security tech. Yeah. A head on hack is the sucker play. So we go at them sideways. You're willing to help, right? I can't do this alone. What do you need help with? Our core security architecture hasn't fundamentally changed from the old CIT days. The original security program was called Code Defender. Revolutionary stuff. We still have terminals running version 1, mothballed in storage. With some persuasion, I can get an old terminal to interface with the new security terminals. Enough to open doors, at least. Problem is, I can't even crack version 1. So I need a good old-fashioned username and a password. And that's nowhere to be found in the Institute. But if you could get me a pre-war admin password from the surface, I could log right in. Where would I find that? Unfortunately, I don't know. The obvious place won't work. The CIT ruins were picked clean years ago, but some of the admins had to live off campus. Ask your friends in the railroad. I need those login credentials. Talk the Desdemona. All right, so you gotta go back to the railroad for this. Oh, oh, stuck. Which means we are a deucing all right. We're deucing right out of here. <laughs> Don't mind me. I came here. I did what I need to do. And poof. Gone. So we got to run all the way back over to Desdemona. Hey, hey, man. With any luck, we get over there and we talk to her and... I don't know. Maybe Pam finally shuts up. I, I, I have no idea. I really... <laughs> at this point in time, I really don't know. <laughs> oh, I can't even take dog meat with me. Like I, I, like, I understand the whole, oh, you can't take a companion in there because you can't have somebody be in the institute, but I can't even take my doggo. Man, they probably just don't like dog meat because they're all like, he's got reds and he's, he's, he's from the surface and he's unclean. Just look at him. He's adorable. He's also kind of stupid sometimes, but he's still pee cute. Stupid is This is why I don't like the Institute, man. They're dicks. They're, they're, just, they're just not nice people. You know, I, I, wish we could, I wish we could go full Mario Sunshine on this bitch. And instead of having my jetpack shoot me upwards, we could have it just face behind me. You know, you, you know that thing in Mario Sunshine where you have it aimed behind you and you 
<laughs> we need the boost. Just, yeah, that's, that's what we need, Fallout. Sure, there's those servo leg upgrades, and I've tried those, and honestly, God, I run faster without power armor than I do with power armor, so that's a that's a no-no from me. But I mean, that'd be, that'd be a fun little upgrade, yeah? Are you idiot? Oh, wait, 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 no, that's a prisoner. Oh, it's just a normal pack Brahmin. I like fighting the random Brahmin named idiot. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> I totally have the Commonwealth wrapped around my finger. Like, every settlement, everyone's allied with me. Everyone either listens to me or they die. <laughs> I have all the supply lines you just going around. Just like, everyone, everyone works for me. Okay? This is my Commonwealth now. <laughs> kind of what it boils down to, right? And that's, that's the way I see it anyway. Alright, Des de Derpa, I'm coming over there for you. I don't know why you apparently have a password, but here goes. Am I full crits? Yeah, I'm full crits. That means we get to go back to using Pew Pew Bang Bang! The Manhattan Project, because Pew Pew Bang Bangs. Anybody in here? Is my inventory, my inventory still full? It is, from the, uh, I looted a couple of those raiders from earlier. I guess I could have looked in the institute to see if there's anybody willing to trade, but I didn't even think about that. <laughs> that stupid furry bird's actually fighting things right now. <laughs> oh, they're always doing stupid, stupid crap. Come on, come on, load, 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 load. Come on, load, thank you. Dog meat, you can come with me to this place. They, they at least don't, they don't mind having dogs here. It's just the institute. Apparently you're unclean. I mean, granted, I'm not exactly... Uh, the pinnacle of hygiene. I don't remember the last time I got a shower in this game, but apparently they like me. Sorry, dog. But you can come here, though. The railroad may be kooky and crazy, but at least they like dogs. So that that that, that helps out. <laughs> You've leveled up. I know. I have three leveling up points to spend. I know. Hey, drummer boy, you gonna run over here and say, Pam? Ooh, let's wait for it. Pam wants to talk with you. She's in back. Oh, okay. So Pam wants Pam wants to speak to me. Eesh, I hope you take that armored behemoth off on covert missions. Intruder countermeasures active. This unit is incapable of voice communication. What intruder countermeasures? What are you talking about? Pam, speak Pam. to me. Security mode Ooh, enabled. The booty. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, 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 that's about. I hate you, Pam. I suppose you're here for my medical services. I'm not here for Let's you. See what's wrong with you today? There's nothing wrong with me. Shut up. Why do you assume? Jerk. Anyway, I think it is indeed time to wrap the episode up here, you guys. Episode 727 of Fallout 4. So I probably started a quest tree that I no, that, that I uh, probably shouldn't have started, but there you go. Uh, underground undercover. We're gonna work through this. We'll probably end up doing that one. I mean, I eventually want to do like as many side quests as physically possible without taking a side, and then I'll do all the other ones, like all the miscellaneous ones. But uh, hopefully, doing this figures out, uh, fixes Pam. Uh, hopefully, somebody can tell me because obviously I record like four episodes in a batch. But hopefully, somebody will tell me what the hell's going on with Pam. I still look it up on the wiki, and I am just at a loss. I don't know what what's up Pam's ass. There's a stick, and it's up there pretty good. But, uh, yeah, next episode, let's continue this quest line, figure out this whole Patriot nonsense, and I have no idea what's going to happen when I supposedly free 13 synths. I can only imagine. Father will not be happy. But either way, guys, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll Please, see you next time. I do have important duties to attend to. Okay, you quick save. You pull out the Big, ba the big Bang Bangs. How do you even fit you down here? What the no, 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 no. Oh, I got Mila. Oh, that's cool. No, 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 that's cool. Dog meat, get away. Dog meat, I'm not done. Dog meat, you're gonna have to get out of the way. Dog, dog meat. Dog, okay, okay, I, 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 I had my fun. I don't like Dr. Carrington. And I think you guys all know that. I, 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 best intro, best outro ever. I just had to. I had to and you can't blame me. But either way, guys, again, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time.